We'll guide you through how to use Steam and this is the full beginner's guide. So first of all, you do need to go and download Steam. So you can just go and open a web browser. You can come to the site store.steampower.com or just go and search for Steam and you should get here pretty easily. Then all you need to do is go to the top right and you can go and click on install Steam and you can then click on install Steam here and the launcher will go and download. You can then go and run it, the Steam setup file. We've got a full guide on that. And after you've gone and downloaded it, you can go and open it up and you'll be prompted to either log into an account or go and create one. So you can go and create an account, it's free. After you've created your account and you've opened Steam, you'll then be here. So it's important to note that Steam is a basically a game marketplace and also a game launcher. So what you can do is go and buy games on Steam. Um, there's so many, for example, Farming Simulator, you can go and buy this. So just to go a bit more in depth, let's scroll down and find a game, for example, this one here. Now what you can then do is scroll down. If the games have DLCs and other packs, you can go and see them down here as well. In this case, I just get the standard edition. So you'd add it to your cart, you can click on view my cart and you can then go and check out. When you buy a game in Steam, it'll then go and be added to your library. So you can come to your library and you'll see your different games on the left here. You could go and click on a game, for example, Power World, and I've already got this installed so it says play, but if the game hasn't been installed, it'll go and say install. You can then go and click on install. You can then go and choose where you want to install it. I've gone and added this drive before. You can choose if you want shortcuts, I don't. And you can then go and click on install and it'll then go and start downloading the game. So this will take some time depending upon the size of the game. As you can see here though, um, this is 28 gigabytes, so it's quite big, but you can go and see the progress there. And once it's finished, you'll then go and see a play button. But it's important to note there are also free games as well um, on Steam, not just paid ones. But also some people like to go and have all of their games in their Steam library as well. So if you've got other games on your computer, maybe not necessarily bought from Steam, maybe from another launcher or just an independent game, you can actually go and add it to Steam. So come to your library at the top, you can come to the bottom left and click on add a game. And what you can then do is you can go and find it on your computer and go and add it to the list. For example, you could add a non-Steam game or you can even activate a product. So for example, activating a product is when you've been given a game key um, and you can go and activate it there. But if you wanna add a non-Steam game, click there, it'll go and search your computer and you can then go and select them and go and add them, super simple. So that's sort of the game marketplace and the launcher side of Steam, but also Steam is a full community, which is super cool. So for example here, I can go and click on community at the top so what you can do is you can go and add friends on Steam um, and you can go and communicate with people um, and you can also go and have your own profile because of that. So as you can see, if you hover over your name at the top, you can then go and see these different things, for example, activity, profile, things like that. Now to go and unlock some of these features, you do need to go and spend a certain amount on Steam. And after you've done that, you can then start adding friends and things like that. As you can see here, it says we restrict access to certain community features until an account has spent at least $5 in Steam. So just note that I have those, so I've got to un unlock those features. But as you can see on the community page, you can then go and start searching for people. And there are also different hubs and products you can go and search through as well. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.